Porsche has always built sports cars. Over 65 years ago, the foundation was laid. It is a success story beyond comparison. The development of the Porsche 911 continued this story. It achieved the ultimate dream of speed, adrenaline, and 100% emotion. It began as a small sports car shop and developed into the most successful manufacturer of exclusive sports cars. And now, Porsche still builds sports cars and its new model embodies once more the spirit of the brand. It is the only sports car in its segment. It's a true Porsche. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Vice President Communications, Mr. Hans Gerd Bode. Yeah, thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very, very warm welcome to all our old friends and esteemed guests. What a wonderful experience for Porsche, what a perfect setup, and of course, what a great audience. We are very happy that you followed our invitation to join us here for the LA Auto Show. For, of course, for our premiere of the Porsche Macan. Believe me, we are as excited as you are that we can finally roll out what is likely the most anticipated new car in the industry. This excitement is underlined by tonight's attendance of most of the board members of the Porsche Board of Management and naturally a great number of executives of our North American Porsche organization. Welcome. Because November 19th is not just another launch date for us. It's a great, make it a rare moment in the history of Porsche. Tonight, we are introducing a totally new model line and you will be the first to see it. Since most of you evaluate new cars for a living, it will be interesting to listen your initial verdict by the end of tonight. I'm actually pretty confident that with the Macan, we may have well exceeded your expectations. Before we start, I want you to know that our friends in Tokyo are anxiously waiting for us to get the show on the road because we have another world premiere to celebrate over there. So, without further ado, let's raise the curtain for the newest member of the Porsche family. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President and CEO of Porsche AG, Mr. Matthias Müller. Ladies and gentlemen, you join 
point of Porsche's history. The exact moment when Porsche reveals not just another improvement to an existing model, but an entirely new car. That moves us into a whole new market sector. It takes everything we have learned about engineering cars over 60 years and makes it available to a whole new group of buyers, some of whom might never have thought they'd one day own a Porsche. We have done this before, of course. When we launched the Cayenne and the Panamera, we had to prove to the purists that these new cars were true Porsches, worthy of the name and of the badge. Let me tell you three things about purism. First, I am proud to lead a car maker with engineering principles so strong and clear and bright and uncorrupted that we have a vast purist fan base. Not many car makers do. Second, my measure for the success of the Cayenne and Panamera isn't just their astonishing sales figures and the new owners they have brought to Porsche, but how many have been bought to share garage space with an existing 911 or a, Bo a Boxster or a Cayman? bought by those purists. And lastly, and most importantly, we are the purists. Wolfgang Hatz, our chief engineer, Michael Maurer, the head of Style Porsche, Bernhard Meyer, responsible for sales and marketing, and me. In fact, all the people who designed and engineered this new car in Weissach and those who will build it in Leipzig. We don't work for Porsche. We don't just drive Porsches. We live them and breathe them. And we don't put that badge and the Ferdinand Porsche's name on a car unless it's not just a great car, but a great Porsche. Ladies and gentlemen, I must confess that I have an advantage on you. I have already driven the new Porsche Macan. I have driven countless prototypes, and there is no question in my mind, make that no question in my heart, that the Macan is a great Porsche. As you know, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the Porsche 911 this year. The term iconic is much overused, but the 911 really is iconic. If you want to say sports car without words, you just draw that top line of the 911's profile. And our new Macan confirms that the Cayenne first proved that everything that makes the 911 iconic makes a great SUV too. You can see the sports car in the styling and in the focus and quality of the cabin. More importantly, you can feel it in the precise, deliberate, perfectly weight action of the controls and in the fact that nothing in the compact SUV sector will match the Macan for the precision and stability of its handling or the performance of its engines. The Macan is the sports car of its class. Sure, we are doing this because we see an opportunity for Porsche. Buyers around the world, and first and foremost here in the US, tell us they want a Porsche like the Macan. Just as with the Cayenne, we are intensely proud to bring our company, our history, our experience, our Porsche to new customers for the first time and to offer another Porsche to our long-standing customers, our purists. 
We are lucky to have been able to leverage the economies of scale of the Volkswagen Group in making the Macan, allowing us to devote our engineering resources in Weissach to making this a true Porsche. I know that my colleagues in Leipzig, many of them to Porsche and just joining us for this project, are devoted to building it perfectly. We are ready to send 50,000 Macans around the world every year and everyone will be, will be built as beautifully as a 911. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wish you could drive it. That will have to wait a little bit longer. But I hope you will always remember the first time you, you saw the Porsche Macan. Enjoy the evening. Our goal is to develop a true Porsche in each segment, a true sports car. Of course, we gave this vehicle very typical Porsche design elements. The design of the Macan combines the best of Porsche race cars and sports cars with our popular and successful line of SUVs. For example, the 911 features a beautiful sloping fender. And we recreated that feeling here in the front of the Macan. A new feature on this vehicle is its overlapping hood. It means that no seams are visible in the upper area. The inspiration for the design of the Macan came directly from race cars. The main headlights are arranged vertically, and the fenders are clearly higher than the hood. Our new rear lights have a very pronounced 3D shape. They give Porsche a new and distinct appearance, especially at night. This will be Porsche's new and emblematic look. It's a sports car, or the sports car in its segment. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Vice President of Style Porsche, Mr. Michael Mauer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The new Porsche Macan has great proportions. You could say proportions of a sports car. The car is low, the car is wide, and the car has a great stance. At the same time, it is recognizable as a Porsche at its first glance, since we were using a lot of design elements from our design DNA. For example, on the front, we have an air intake rather than a traditional radiator grill. Or if you take the Porsche typical topography over the fenders and the hood. Just let me talk briefly about the hood of the car, because I believe it is one of the design highlights of the car. Due to the fact that we have this overlapping design of the hood, we have no visible shut lines on the upper side. And the result is a very clean, a very fresh, and a very modern look. If if you look at the side of the car, you see this dropping roof line. I would say almost dramatically dropping. And in combination with the rear glass that is very fast, we created a silhouette that is similar to a silhouette of a coupe. The body side is nicely structured with this new design element further down in the doors, which is available in different um, surface options. Over the rear wheel, we have the typical Porsche shoulder. The section came directly, let's say, from our hero car, the Porsche Carrera 911. On the back of the car, you see the latest tail lamps of Porsche, and they give you an idea where we intend to go in the future. On top of this, we will have a very distinctive appearance at night. If we talk about the exterior of the car, we should talk as well about the interior of the car. As soon as we open the door, you will find all the ingredients 
that let an interior become a Porsche interior. The ignition key is on the left side of the steering wheel where it's supposed to be on a sports car, the round instruments with the ref counter in the center, and the racing center console in combination with the steering wheel that comes straight out of our super sports car, the 918, we create this very special interior feeling, this Porsche interior feeling where we try to describe saying, as soon as you drive the car, you become one with the car. Ladies and gentlemen, we believe the Porsche Macan is the sports car in the segment. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome both the member of the Executive Board Research and Development, Mr. Wolfgang Hatz, and the member of the Executive Board Sales and Marketing, Mr. Bernhard Meyer. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move Porsche into a whole new market segment, I know that people are going to ask me what makes the Macan, a Porsche. I'm an engineer, and I could give them an engineering answer, but I would rather give them a simple answer. You just have to drive it. <laughs> and once you drive it, ladies and gentlemen, one thing becomes crystal clear. The Porsche Macan will be the sportiest and most exclusive compact SUV on the market. And with 400 horsepower, the Macan Turbo will be just the most powerful in its class, and easily the sportiest when it comes to steering precision, agility, and grip. Well, Wolfgang and ladies and gentlemen, I have to say, our engineers really achieved it. These qualities are combined in the Macan for the first time in a booming market segment. Globally, the compact SUV segment is growing with an expected 5% increase until the end of the decade. And most of you have driven our cars and know exactly what we mean. It goes way beyond that the Macan has the most sporty seating position or that you hold a steering wheel derived from our 980 Spider. That portion is unmistakable and the Macan has it. Well, and our loyal customers will recognize it immediately. And I believe our new customers are going to love it. It is this combination, you know. Or in other words, it's the perfect concept harmony one can find in each and every Porsche. And that makes sense in all the markets. Here in the United States, in Tokyo, in Europe, and in all the fast-growing markets like China or South America. The Overwhelming feedback from current Porsche owners and uh, potential new customers underlines the Macan's great potential as the new Porsche. So, how were we able to make the Macan drive, feel, and look like a true Porsche? More than two thirds of the Macan's components are new or have been re engineered to our specification. All models feature the Porsche double clutch transmission PDK, and the two six-cylinder gas engines are all new. Indeed, 
Ladies and gentlemen, having heard this, it becomes obvious that such a great car has its price. We did not want to create a lower, but rather an additional entry to the brand. In the end, this rationale led us to the very top of the segment. Moreover, with the Macan Turbo, we created a part of the segment that wasn't there before. And for the first time in this class, air suspension will be available, giving not just a great ride, but allowing drivers to raise the right height for trips off the tarmac. And those USPs are important for an innovative brand like Porsche. And we want to continuously enhance the strength of our brand. For one simple reason. People buy Porsche, first of all, because of their fascination of the brand. 36% of our customers name it the number one reason. And with the Macan, we will once more live up to our customers' expectations. So let, let me wrap up. With the Cayenne, we did prove that what Porsche has learned in 65 years of making sports cars also makes great sport utilities. We use all that experience to once more build a true sports car. Moreover, Wolfgang, with the Macan, we create an additional entry to the world of Porsche. At the same time, as we are reinforcing our brand at the very top with a Porsche 918 Spyder. It is the pinnacle of our brand and an important source of technology for all the model lines. So you will feel very comfortable when you drive the Macan for the first time and immediately will realize you're driving a true Porsche. Now let's listen to what two brand ambassadors have to say about it. Please enjoy, and once again, thank you for being with us. Wonderful evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Porsche race driver, Mr. Patrick Long. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Porsche ambassador, Ms. Maria Sharapova. Patrick, that's for you, Maria, that's for you. So you had a good ride? I did. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit tough. This is not my element. <laughs> we have a race car driver here. <laughs> you know all about yeah. it, so this is quite But it's far away from <laughs> racing over here. Yeah, yeah totally. ladies and it gentlemen, is. the new Porsche Macan is sure to bring many, many new customers to Porsche. I'm joined now by two uh, people who are already Porsche owners, but who really typify the younger demographic uh, of our new uh, Macan will attract. And who can also maybe give us some insight into how the new car compares to the rest of the Porsche, Porsche range. Maria, I just turn to you. Uh, you, had the, uh, you had a chance to check it out, the car? I did. I think this could be um, my new favorite. Um, you know, I travel all around the world. I uh, play in major cities. I have a big team, a lot of luggage, a lot of gear, especially for my sport. And um, to know that I have something a bit more compact than the Cayenne um, is, a, is a wonderful thing. And I know my teammates are really excited about it as well. <laughs> and I think styling is also an important thing for you. It is. I, mean, I, I personally love the 911 and I drive it okay. myself. Um, But I think um, they've done an incredible job of taking all the, the successful elements of that. And like the Panamera and like the Cayenne, okay. they have put it into the Macan, and I, I love it. So that sounds good. Patrick, now you. Uh, you know exactly how a Porsche ought to drive, and you have had a chance already to drive the Macan. 
What are your views? Yeah, well, first of all, as Maria said, I agree. Um, styling is first and foremost for our demographic, <laughs> and I'm happy there. But um, from a driver's standpoint, you can tell that the guys in Vysok have put a lot of 911 DNA into this car. Um, it's not only about going quick. That's the easy part. I think you need to be agile. You need to be um, really tight with your handling, and uh, it's easy to say that this is a big step forward. Okay. All the things that I know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you have to check out. I but will in the future. <laughs> but will it appeal to drivers who are new to uh, the Porsche? Yeah, I think so. I mean, this is a, a versatile, practical car. Um, okay. It's a great introduction to our brand. Um, you know, what we have is something that handles unbelievably. It has adjustable ride height. It has our standard PDK. Um, these are things that make the car perform, but they make them comfortable. Any road conditions, any weather conditions, um, we want to be able to enjoy it, be relaxed, but go fast when we need to. So that sounds good. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a hand. I take the, I take the mic. Ladies and gentlemen, the executives are now available for photo opportunities on stage. Under my skin, when I got you, under my skin, when I got you, under my skin.